Hi, Major Berman from the Mortgage News Network. You're watching another episode of Hash It Out, sponsored by Remen Hosel. Got my friend Ron Weinberg here. He's the head coach for NMPU and also executive director, uh, sales coach to top originators around the country. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, Thanks for having me. listen, I, uh, this is a great topic to hit you with because today, you know, I caught you. You're not wearing a jacket. You're a little more casual than you normally are. Uh, you look like you just announced the uh, the latest <laughs> iPhone. So I figured actually I would ask you about dress, about professional dress. You know, is is it really important today? You know, to, to be actually dressed, you know, as we're dealing with millennials, we're dealing with actually all sorts of different audiences. Do you, do you have to actually wear a, a jacket? Do you have to be, uh, you know, investing in your, your professional uh, appearance? First, I'm going to answer your question with a question. And the question that anybody who's wondering how they should dress, okay. my question to them is, what message do you want to send? Depending upon the message you want to send, that's how you're going to dress. You're never going to get in trouble overdressing. But a lot of people, what do they do? They do the bare minimum. I walk into some mortgage companies and I cannot believe the way people are dressed. Now, I know that there are some parts of the country that are little, where actually this would be the normal way that they would be dressed. Where here in New York, you know, yeah. this becomes a lot more common. But a lot of people, though, they don't, they don't pay enough attention to the way they dress and they don't pay attention to the message that they're sending. So you think actually that, that borrowers or potential borrowers or potential re referral partners are going to make a are going to make a judgment on the way you look and not actually by your knowledge, not by actually you know the things that you're saying. Because listen, you might be an expert in two hundred three k loans. You might be an expert in VA loans. Uh, you know you might have all this knowledge behind you, um, and uh, you know maybe maybe you're actually uh, you know in flannels and jeans. I mean, does, does that take away from, you know, your message? What's the expression? You never get a second chance to make a first impression. The way you, the only way that I think that you can get away with not being really dressed in a professional way is if you have received, you're a, bar, you're a loan officer, you've received a referral from someone and you know they're basically ready to do business with you. Mm -hmm. They haven't met with you, and you just let them know, hey, when I come to meet with you, this is how I'm going to be dressed. Are you okay with it? That's what I actually used to do, especially when I used to do originations on weekends, because during the week I was always in a suit. On the weekends, I would always tell people, I say, would you mind if I'm a little bit dressed a little bit more casual, business casual, than I normally would be during the week, and they I mean, were always jeans? okay with You're it. Showing up in jeans. Once in a while, I did that because usually what would happen is the customer would say, come in jeans. And if they did it, I would usually come in slacks anyway. Okay. Okay. But so why can't you do that on a Tuesday? Well, I would say, listen, I'm um, coming in jeans. Uh, hope you don't mind. Okay. Andrew, let me ask you a question. Okay. You shop at Nordstrom's? Yeah. Walk in there and imagine now the salesperson comes up to you wearing jeans. What's your perception of Nordstrom's going to be? Okay. Okay. So when Valid that person point. comes right. out, when that person comes out, and doesn't reflect the business. Yeah. They're all and remember, they're reflecting their they're not reflecting the business, but they are reflecting their company with their dress code. And I'm a very big believer from the top down, dress is important. I'm not saying everybody's gotta have a tie and a suit every single day. Yeah. There are, but you have to look professional and to me, sandals, moccasins or whatever has no place anywhere in this business on any day of the week. Yeah. Personal branding, yeah, yep, makes sense. All right, Ron, thank you, I appreciate it. You got it, thanks. And I'm Andrew Berman from the Mortgage News Network. Thank you for watching another episode of Hash It Out.